Yo, what's up? Uh, I am in West Hollywood. Today is September 3rd. Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. And I'm just about to walk up to Sal's and check out the new normal reading series again. You know I'm a uh, frequent supporter. I try to come every month. And yeah, see what's up here. Chill for a little while and then I'll go back home. Uh, pretty good day today. Had a meeting with Jess. Did some writing. Got some other writing done. A little bit of editing. I did get my computer back and it's uh, it still works for now. But it's like real sketchy. It overheats real fast. So my goal for tomorrow is to edit uh, the two videos for Lars and... Uh, you know, just to get that shit done out of the way before my computer dies. Uh, yeah, but on top of that, yeah, I got a couple things that I'm excited to do, I'm working on. Um, sort of a new project, new venture for video production that um, I'm digging into and hoping that... Uh, that I could get some ground with. So yeah, I'm here and um, I'm doing it. I gotta take some action, some massive action as they say. That's it. Seth Miller, 30, super handsome, walks out of his grocery delivery job in uniform on his home, taking a hit off his wheat pen. Taken off guard by the sound of a grinding metal, Seth looks up to see his girlfriend, Rachel, mean Latina model, running a key alongside of a beat-up old Ford Taurus. Seth throws his head back in frustration and rubs his face to silence his anger, then snaps. Rachel! What the fuck? Rachel puts one last time of etch in the car. <laughs> That's not even my car. <laughs> what the fuck me? Club showgirl. We have a, a guy that's an actor, but he has to make his living uh, working as an elevator operator at a store because there's not enough roles for him. I think a lot of us know kind of what that's like. Um, <laughs> uh, and then we have a guy who basically is like a hustler and he's trying to get out of town because people are after him. And then we have a, a true believer, uh, a woman named Lenore who's actually a member of the party who uh, can't quite find her place in New York. And so she's actually, they all go to this audition and so they're all gonna try to get on this movie. So that's what you're gonna see tonight. But um, I'm gonna let the cast kind of- um, They wanted me to stop shine. They said my line of work made them look bad. Besides, should you should, his taste fresh moonshine from his humble but well-made still smacks his lips perfection. Now, why put the state of Negrodom on me? <laughs> Am I supposed to clear my career choices with the church, everybody's mama, and the NAACP? The door bursts open. <laughs> Shifty struck by a blinding light. Later, as the farmers march away from the shed, satisfied, we see it has been set aflame. Shifty, beaten, bloody, watches it burn, devastated. Interior Lafayette Theater, back to present. So you want me to make a movie? Just tell me what to do with paper. I don't care about your politics. I don't care how it makes America or Negroes look. Anything that pays a brother is all right with me. With attitudes <laughs> like yours, Negroes will never get a man. 
never say never, woman. Hell, church ain't open till all the snakes are back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, today is September 4th now. It is Wednesday. And yeah, had a pretty good day yesterday overall. Uh, I was able to get the majority of the shit that I needed to get done, done. Uh, I'm pretty sure I checked off almost all the stuff on my list except for editing uh, Lars's videos, which that's going to take a while anyway. So I'll be working on that today. And uh, yeah, I'm just having some coffee now. I actually had to, I scheduled a haircut for uh 11 o'clock today yesterday and then i got this audition commercial audition uh for 11 50 so i had to reschedule so today i'm going to do this audition uh in hollywood and then i'll come back here and then i'll have a haircut after that so i'll just basically be home working on uh, video stuff as much as i can like i said my computer is dying it's getting really, really hot when I work on it for too long. And even when I just kind of like let it, when I turn it on for, I don't know, 30 minutes, it starts getting real hot. So that's not good. Um, oh God. So yeah, I got to find a solution for that. Uh, I'm working on this new thing. Um, it's called, it's called uh, Lanewood Media is what Max and I have decided to call it. It is a new video production, I guess, uh, a company that will be underneath our umbrella of Channel D, and we're going to be doing a specific, like a niche thing. Uh, I don't want to talk about it just yet, because uh, I got to take action first. So before I uh, start saying anything, I'm going to just, you know, put it out there that I'm doing something new and that I'm going to be pushing myself to to uh, get some new clients. So, yeah, uh, hopefully get some some good good word from this audition today and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Well, show him the love, Ben. 